Hello, this is Mike from Dimensional Walking. And today I want to talk about, actually I want to do, we'll call this one part two. Part one, I posted on Tuesday, last Tuesday. So this will be, this will be part two. And I'm going to call this one the bovine befuddlement, a deep dive in the cattle mutilations and the eerie shadow of extraterrestrials. So that's quite a title. So last Tuesday, I did a video on about my friend in New Mexico that had all these cattle mutilations, had 23 of them. So today I want to do, I want to show you the scope of this a little bit bigger uh, and give you about 10 more examples of events that happened over you know, the last 30 years or so. But there's many more. There was many more. I just won't have enough time to do them all. Um, and I don't think I could do it in a 24-hour period, actually. So anyways, this is part two. We'll call it part two anyways. And so some of these that, that I'm going to talk about, just so you understand, are from the Dulce area. I'm not 100% positive. Some of them could be part of the uh, part one I gave you. It's hard to kind of tell uh, when I did my research because some of the names of the people were not put into the, you know, into the articles and things that I read. So, because they, they want to stay fairly anonymous. So, anyways, with that said, let me, let me proceed on. So, the first one actually was in 1974, and it was in Delcy, New Mexico. So, there was eight cattle that were uh, near Delcy Mountain that appeared to be uh, drained of their blood. Their tongues, ears, and, and genitals were removed uh, with surgical precision. Uh, no, no tracks, no predators, uh, just pure... pure uh, as I'll call it, bovine bewilderment. Uh, so the whole area of the Dulce area has always been this kind of, a, we'll call it the hotbed of UFOs, uh, sightings, and of course the uh, underground base there, uh, Dulce underground base. So basically this, this whole, this particular one we're talking about here kind of started fueling that extraterrestrials were probably harvesting um, uh, organs, uh, basically. For what reason, nobody seems to know. And of course, the locals were freaked out uh, that something really sinister uh, was happening. And of course, it was, I guess. Uh, the event sparked, you know, national media attention and kind of kicked off uh, the cattle mutilation phenomena. Um, uh, I think there was actually some that were actually before this, before seventy. Uh, 74 or 70 yeah 74 uh but um anyways we're we're going to kind of call this uh kind of where the, the time frame where things started kicking off next one it was in bush creek colorado um uh, and this was in 1975 uh this was a, a 17 month old uh heifer found near uh bush creek with a six inch incision in its abdominal, its, abdom its stomach, uh, all the organs except the heart were surgically removed and its blood gone with no trace. Okay. So this kind of started this whole surgical precision theory. Uh, and it was, of course, linked to the uh, alien involvement. Uh, some of the research claimed that uh, there was some traces of antiseptic around the, um, uh, I'm sorry, not antiseptic, anesthesia or ana, uh, something, something to kind of dull the pain, I guess, uh, while they, whatever was doing this uh, around the carcass. Uh, again, uh, the, the rancher involved in this, uh, he became a real vocal advocate of the extraterrestrial explanation. And of course, you know, he just fueled, I guess, the event that was starting to be created around uh, cattle mutilations. The next one is in New Mexico in uh, 1979, Socorro County in New Mexico, 13 cows across several ranches exhibited uh, strange mutilations, tongues, udders, uh, sex, or, uh, sex organs were missing, unusual burns, punctures. Um, some of the cattle's eyes were removed, leaving them uh, just around sockets. Uh, large scale event added, you know, again, weight to the mystery. Again, it was it was lack of blood, 
Of course, the, the speculation continued that it had something to do with aliens. Okay. Um, again, uh, there was uh, some of the other reaction was that there was also sightings, again, of strange lights in the sky uh, during the time of the mutilations. Of course, that, again, always adds to the, the UFO theory, etc. cetera. Uh, the next one is, uh, this would be uh, event four. This would be Moffat County in Colorado. This is 1980. And this was a pregnant heifer discovered with its entire stomach wall neatly peeled back, exposing a, a fetus unharmed. Her organs were removed and her blood drained, but the calf inside actually survived. That is bizarre, right? That's even more bizarre. Uh, again, this surgical precision, precision uh, of how the, the organs were cut out was, you know, kept on being part of the story, okay? The rancher in this case was quite traumatized. Uh, again, it brought... Uh, Na nation national uh, media attention and uh, again i guess it kind of everybody kept on still talking about the alien et connection next one was maxwell uh, nebraska in uh, 1981 and here a cow was found with ears uh, eyes and rectum uh, removed its legs were broken a specific pattern and it hid, and there was some strange burns on the body. No blood or tracks were found around the carcasses. Uh, a specific leg breaks, unusual burns added to the layer of mystery. Because this was kind of the first time there was some additional things going on here with these animals. Um, again, uh, ETs were implicated. Um, but, you know, who knows? The ranchers uh, feeling that... There was, there was also another thing. The rancher also said that there was a strange electrical, when he went into the area, this electrical tingling uh, that him and some of his fellow ranchers witnessed or actually occurred to them. Uh, again, that kind of uh, stirred up the ET uh, technology, uh, putting the blame on the ETs, and, and I don't know, maybe it is the ETs. Um, going back to Dulcie, 1982, Two bulls were found with their blood drain tongues and genitalia removed and strange metallic implants embedded in their skulls. One of the imp uh, implants pulsated with a faint light. Okay, so that's pretty crazy, right? So the implants, of course, man, everybody's going to jump on that for ET stuff, right? <laughs> so uh, again, the, the, uh, lo the rancher was terrified and convinced that it was an ET. And of course, you know, just went everything went wild as far as the media goes. Next one is San Luis Valley, which is one of my favorite places I talk about quite a bit, and because that has all kinds of stuff going on there. Uh, several horses and cows were found with bizarre circular incisions on their bodies, seemingly made by lasers. The organs were preserved in as a flash frozen and middle mid extraction. Um, that is interesting. Um, I guess I, uh, I'm just thinking about that. That that's pretty crazy. Okay. So again, the, the laser theory was, uh, uh, brought up, but then the preserved organs added another layer of mystery for the, in, in the thing. Now, apparently, I guess, let me go back to that. It looks, it sounds like it, when they found the body, these organs, which were probably not really removed, were actually fr Flash frozen in the middle of the extraction. Um, wow. Okay. That's 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 different. I mean, I've been I've been uh, doing this uh, cattle mutilation exploring for many years, and that this is the first time, I guess, uh, that I will tell you I've heard about this flash freezing uh, issue. Number eight is Exeter, New Hampshire. Also kind of a famous UFO place. 1996 now. We're moving ahead a little bit here. There's a young bull found drained of blood, tongue, ears, genitalia, just like the normal. Strangely, its eyes were perfectly preserved, frozen in a look of why 
why I wide terror. And that's that's kind of that's a crazy thing too. Again, the uh, the whole thing about the uh, the eyes kind of looking in shock or or whatever you want to call it was something a little bit new that uh, wasn't seen in previous ones. So uh, there there was also the, the rancher came out and said that there was a feeling when he went into the area there was just some kind of a feeling of dread, something additional. Uh, and I've never heard again up to 1996. I had not heard of this. Um, again, uh, this was in the east on the east coast, away from New Mexico and and some of the places in Colorado. Let's say, uh, so this was a little bit out of territory, uh, but it was in 1996. Amarosa, uh, Colorado. Uh, County, Colorado, 2009, a cow, cow was found with its entire rectum and low intestinals removed through a single circular incision. No blood, no signs of struggle. So, anyways, the again, we're we went we're coming back to Colorado. Uh, so, anyways, this again, this removal of the internal organs. This was kind of the one of the earlier times when they talked about this singular type incision to pull out the organs um, and it to them whoever was involved in this incident said that it seemed to be indicating there was a harvesting of digestive enzymes okay and uh, of course the rancher again there was this said that there was a strange metallic smell around the carcass uh, the largely uh and th this again was kind of a, a kind of a nuance uh this metallic smell and last but not least we'll talk about craig uh, new mexico in 2012 here a cow again was found with the ears nose and, and tongue removed along with unusual triangle incisions in the on the body its blood was drained its hoofs were strangely worn down to the nubs now that that's kind of new. I I never I never heard of that. I don't know if that has something to do with some type of a struggle or something, but apparently the hoof thing is is just really bizarre. Um, the triangle again, the triangle incisions was a nuance in this, um, and the being worn down the hooves uh, suggests a prolonged movement or confinement before the mutilation. Um, yeah, that 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 probably makes sense. Maybe the the cow was terrified, and you know, just by uh, you know the cow moving its hooves excessively, that wore him down. It's pretty bizarre and pretty awful, actually. Um, the the rancher also saw strange lights in the sky during the time period at which he believes the mutilation happened. So. I guess with all that said, that's ten of them, okay? And uh, there, there seems to be. I will tell you that that is just the tip of the iceberg, okay? And people that I've talked to, including my friend Edwin, he claims that he has been in contact with many, many other people, uh, cattle type people that have had mutilations throughout the West and other parts of the country. So my suspicion is this has been going on for a long time. And who knows? I think it's still going on. Obviously, I told you that there was, uh, you know, some mutilations that were reported in eastern part of uh, Oregon last year, and I've heard of other cases around the country. Texas also has had quite a few of them. I've heard some in Wisconsin fairly recently. So, anyways, with all that said, uh, we will keep on looking out at what's going on with the cattle mutilations. I'll circle back every so often and give you an update. So thanks a lot. We'll see you until we meet again. Bye-bye.